Welcome back to our Follow the Build series. Um, so last week we briefly touched on this boat, it's starting to come together now. Ross, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, thanks James. So this, we're calling this the Sulcan boat. So it's the Prime 941, the next size up from the 821 which we had in the other bay last week. Key differences just looking at the stern of the boat is the, um, well, it's got V6s like that other 821, but these are the 300 mm -hmm. horsepower. We were on the water earlier testing our demo boat with yeah. new props, weren't we James? Yeah, so this is going to run that setup, isn't it? So that's kind of very much like our, our new setup, slightly higher on the engines, bigger propellers, um, running 21 inch propellers, so incredible acceleration right up to 59 knots. Quick thing I've got to say as well, that's Dan, he's just heading home now, he's just finished doing a late night shift on the 941, so we've got a great team building these boats. And I think the cool thing is looking at the boats uh, at this stage of build, you can see some of the more intricate details that makes them a little bit different, we think, to the market. And uh, just looking at the back of, at back of the boat here, if you come closer, Sophie, you can just see like the detailing on the transom, for example. You've got this real premium sort of laser cut, prime transom cap, all this high quality drainage at the back of the boat. This boat's gonna have underwater lights as well in blue. So, um, you know, we've just been out on the water and it was a slightly mm. fading light. When you run the boat with these on, it just looks so cool. And this boat, this boat's completely blacked out by the red upholstery, isn't it? So you can see we've now got the sort of tow mast has gone in there. Um, so that, you know, that's what you can do. You sort of your weight boarding and your mono ski and whatever else. Um, got the Sea Smart cleats fitted in. These are real nice. And again, as I touched last week, the loco lights and, and handles. And we've taken all the handle systems and everything that's not necessarily a high wear item and gone black. And then things like the cleats where you're going to get a lot of rope and stuff like that. That's going to obviously we keep we keep that um, uh, polished stainless. Let's jump up inside the boat and, and have a look around the inside. Right, so the console for the boat, the dynamic console we call it, which is going to have a tee top. It's going to be coming up in the next couple of days. So before we jump up in the boat, we do have the helm seats, which are Scott seats. Yeah, that's yeah. him. These, these are incredible, proper shock mitigation offshore seats. Again, you know. What we've done with these to sort of match with the scheme of the boat, as you can see, all of the metal work is that we've powder coated it all in black, all of the mechanism. You can see the air, Fox, these are air shocks now on here, performance series by Fox. That gives you like the ability to completely and utterly, you know, adjust and dial the seat in for exactly as you want it. So incredibly comfortable offshore, really, really capable, very, very ergonomic seat. I think if you're going to spec a ribeye as like a driver's boat, like a go fast boat, which is how I drive the boats, I'm always going to suggest that you go for the wing back rest because these aren't standard with the Scots, but they really do sort of hold you in. And James made the point on the height adjuster as well, which does help you dial in those ergonomics. So two more things just to touch on before we get up into the boat and start having a little look around it is this boat has been specified with the front seat on the front of the console. We basically, there's so many customizable options that the team will work with you on a Prime. Um, so you, you, know, you build a boat exactly as you want it. Um, this, this one's been specified with the front uh, seat on the console. So you can see here, this is going to be the door of the console. The, the main bit of the console is going to be up its way, on its way from GRP down in our other building. So this is the front seat. And also this boat is specified with our electric windless anchor system, um, which, is, which is a really cool feature. Um, you can see there the stainless all being fitted just so it, it protects the front of the boat. Everything again, really big, really good quality. These massive kind of either toe eyes or toe down points um, there. You've got here the, the drainage coming out. So our anchor locker is a completely sealed unit. With the construction as well, James, you, you can see how proud these, these triple yeah. giants stick out. But how are these, can you talk us through how these are actually made and what's different about these? Yeah, structures? yeah. So um, when, we, when we sort of dis developed the way that we were going to build the primes, it was really kind of, you know, we wanted to do everything kind of cutting edge and properly. And this is actually kind of a military technology. So a lot of the time, these kind of chines are always just like molded in with the outer skin of the fiberglass. But what these are actually done is, these are actually laid in with foam as part of the in infusion process and then screed it over. So in effect, we can get these really sharp, aggressive chines using that technology, which makes the hull absolutely incredible. But it also means that if you were to smack one on something, in effect, they're sacrificial, yeah? So it wouldn't cause you any problems underway. And then obviously, you know, but you can see, if you look under here, these hulls are triple spray rail, dual chine hulls. This is like 
a very, very complex hole to build, but gives incredible sea keeping capability. So again, whether you're using it, you know, just as kind of your day boat out and around the beaches, or you really want to get out there and explore, you know, the one of the unique differences of our boats is really how they run out in, in the sea. And again, that's something that you really need to kind of come down to experience if, you know, if you're interested in one, because I honestly believe there's nothing else like them when, when we get them out there. So we're up in the boat. First thing to notice about this, this, this uh, boat is this, the space available. Like there's so much deck space. So, you know, when you're really going to spend the day on this boat with your family, you've got loads of room to move around, really comfy seats. I think so we'll have a look at, you know, we've got a big u area at the front, really, really long, perfect. Um, doubles up as a sunbed, so you get these, these cushions that go in here, make this like whacking great big sunbed. And also a big thing for us, you know, we always try and do you know, things really quality and, and so they're nice to use. And all of our locker systems on this boat, it's all about not having to take the upholstery off. So like on a lot of boats, you've got to like, take the upholstery off. And, and, and basically what we have here is we have these latches and um, all the upholstery in place that, you know, the locker just comes up and reveals all of that storage, comes up as one piece. It's a really nice action and everything. So you can see here yeah. some more of the teeth fits. I think that's a really good point about finishing, you know, a lot, a lot of time, you know, you just get the teeth just stuck on there. But what we do is, you know, we create this kind of bull nose system. So that will be shaped in there. So it's all just really nice and finished and has a kind of a lovely overhang. You can see here, this is kind of the space be below the console. Loads of the main wiring systems going in here. So we've got some of the, the engine harnesses going in. Um, some of the, these are, these are the steering, hydraulic steering systems. So on the primes, when we run like any time we go up to something like dual 200s, dual 300s, 250s, we always go to proper full power steering systems. So incredible to drive. Uh, under deck fuel tank, right in this whole area here. This is the fuel sender. You can see this is effectively the fill pipe and the breather pipe. It's all high quality stainless yeah, steel as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's all proper, yeah, stainless steel. And with all of these, if you go down to our bottom unit, you'll see all of these getting pressure, pressure tested prior to them being um, yeah. you know, placed into the hull and held in with belly straps, stainless steel belly straps, before we then bond the deck to the hull. And by bonding our deck as a single piece, as James showed us in the bow with the Uber storage and also the stern storage, which you saw on our other 821, yeah. that's what gives you those really deep lockers. Yeah, it's cavernous, isn't it? And I think that, that that's, that's a really big, important factor. So it, this is, again, like, they're so incredible, these 941s. And we were out testing one today, actually, um, our all black demo boat. So this will be a really good boat to follow throughout the build and um, when we get it out on the water.